Hi everyone, it's Erica here and I haven't made a video in a while but I wanted to just show you a basic routine using Senegence products. Um, I've been so happy with all of these products and I absolutely love them. So in order to save time I'm going to be utilizing the pause button also um, but just kind of show you guys what I do. So this morning when I started off I washed my face and then I used Climate Control and the Send of Serum C and then I put a tinted moisturizer on, um, Shade Light. So that is what I already have going on here. Next, I like to take the green concealer. I think the green has just made such a difference. And this will color correct any purple or red that people tend to have underneath their eyes. Ow. Oh, are you having a carrot? Ow. What happened? Did was it a hard bite? Oh no. Oh, he's making his old teeth he's strong by eating him a carrot. I'm eating a carrot. <laughs> well, you saw he bit my beauty blender. Oh, I got a new beauty blender. I forgot about that. I like to use a beauty like blender. Smell it. Like you smell it. You want to smell it? I don't think it smells, but it might. It comes from China. It probably smells like crap. <laughs> it doesn't really smell good, does it? But it's cute. So I usually use a beauty blender when I do my under eye, but that's about it that I use one for. Let's see, this one is kind of hard. I'll probably have to wash this, actually. I don't like using... That was icy downstairs. Okay, so this is the first step. I'm going to have to wash this. This one seems a bit hard, especially for under eyes. And you just want to take your concealer down as far as you can go. So, there's the green concealer blended beautifully. Next, we are going to put our foundation. And I'm going to be using the Make Sense Anti-Aging Foundation in shade Dewy. Now, all foundations have their own best way of applying. Um, this particular foundation is best applied in a stippling motion with a brush. Hands and beauty blenders are not recommended for this foundation, but you're free to um, find out for yourself. I like my IT Cosmetics Heavenly Lux blush, um, brush. Maybe, because I just maybe, feel like it maybe, works the best. Maybe, 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 and you just maybe, 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 maybe. it on. You just need one pump of this foundation. If you guys have been following me from the very beginning. Yeah, she's downstairs jumping around playing. If you guys have been following me from the very beginning. I'm sure you can see a major, major difference in the quality of my skin just from the uh, three months that I've been using these products. Like this is just really shrunk um, by using the collagen pack and the... Um, climate control really all of it I think it all just works together so you can see this foundation really just leaves you with a completely flawless finish which I absolutely love next I like to use my little friend the eye illuminator yeah luminate can you say luminator this is the anti-aging eye cream mixed with the pearlizer. Pearlizer. For use around the eyes. Um, and I just use 
You can kind of just watch, watch this go even more farther away. You do not need a lot. Stop. Just a little dab, dab, dab. So that kind of brightens it up even more. Because when you have a baby who keeps you up all night, your under eyes definitely need some help. There we go. So now I look more bright and more awake. Yeah, she's down. Do you want to go downstairs play while I do my makeup? Next I'm going to start in with some contour and I'm actually going to use Mocha Java Shadow Scents for that. And I'm going to do not a very severe contour, just a little bit. And I'm going to use this little brush for that. Okay. Mocha Java Probably one of the most loved shadow senses. And you can probably just get away with doing like a few dots. A lot of people just take the applicator and just do tiny, tiny dots and then blend that. I like a bit more of a intense look though and you just put that right up under your cheekbone and you can see it already makes your face look skinny you can even put some under here to give you a more chiseled look And up here, even though I'm wearing bangs. I'll be wearing bangs. Yay! You are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. He yes. says, are you all done? Oh. No, I'm not all done. Do I have lipstick on? No. Look at me. Yes, you yeah. did. No, I don't have lipstick yet, and I don't have mascara. We cannot be done right now. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. So I think we're going to yes, do some toasted did. rose today. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I'm not done. I don't have lipstick. Because I'm going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Oops, too. You want some, too? Okay, show them. Show them the pretty color. Put your hand up to the camera so you can show everybody the pretty color. What blush? Toasted rose what blush scents. I will. Let me get it on my cheeks first, though. So just dab it. Dab, 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 dab. No, 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 no. Very pretty color, and that blended really nicely with the Mocha Java. So I'm actually not going to blend with my big brush like I usually do because I just made sure to apply very lightly anyways. And it'll get blended when I do my um, powder. Okay, so next we're going to use the Translucent Loose Powder here. And I actually just sprinkle some on my hand and then use my powder brush for it, a stippling brush here. Um, no, don't open that. But it does come with your own little brush if you want. That is, I don't know, I don't know. These are like the best powders ever, really. I want to get the um, 
highlight one. That's an eyeliner. Okay, so I just put a little bit. What do you choose? What do you choose? It's really good. And just a little bit really just sets it. You don't really need a lot of this at all. You can use that because I gotta wash it anyway. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you guys the pearlizer, which I love. And I use that as highlight. No, you're not gonna open that. Why? Because that'll go everywhere. Just put one pump on the back of my hand. I like to use my little cute it brush for that. Take about half. Yep. Hey, stop. Ow. Hey, no. And you just put it wherever you want to highlight. And it really gives a nice glow. Boopy. I don't need this in here. Put that back. Pearlizer is just great. Um... So, also, we are going to be doing some lip scents, and I can show you the proper way to apply that. Stop. Okay, so before we go do anything else, I'll go ahead and jump in and show you the lip scents. I'm going to use dark pink today. You want to make sure to wipe all the foundation, everything off your lips. Clean, dry lips. No chap. You're going to put on three thin layers, letting them dry in between each layer. Love you. Hold me. Hold you. How about, well, let's do lipstick first. You like this one? Is it pretty? stuff over. Why? Because I want to get my stuff nice. Why? Because. Why? Because. Why? Hey. Uh. Okay. You hold yarn? And I'll use orchid gloss. Let's use it. You wanna use it? Yes. Oh not. Ooh, does it feel good? Soft? <laughs> mm. 
beautiful dark pink. It's a really nice color. Um, and so since we're just going to be doing a simple look, I'm just going to throw on some eyebrows and <laughs> some shadow <laughs> scents. I'm going to use Mulberry because it's just such a really nice light color. I'll pause. Well, actually, I mean, I'll show you how I do it with one eye and then I'll pause to do the second eye. I just put it right on with the applicator. And I'm just going to use only this. So I'm going to take it all the way up. And then I'm just going to let that dry. Now if I was using two colors, I would make sure to use a blendy brush to blend I'm that together. So I'm going to do the other eye and I'm I'll pause. Okay, so both eyes have mulberry right now. Look. And then I'm going to do some eyebrows. I don't know how though because he's really being wobbly. Yeah, you're going to look. Um... Me. Let me think. You know, I'm just going to try something different today, because why not? I'm actually going to use amethyst in my eyebrows and see what that looks like. If it doesn't really look good, I'll just top it off with a little bit more brown. Um, so when I do my eyebrows, I use like a flat, a little flat brush here. Can I put my eyebrows on? Look, it's purple, it's pretty. It's not nippy time right now. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to do my eyebrows while he is grabbing at me. time right here remember it was just breakfast time and then you already had nippy and then now it's makeup time and then we'll do nippy again okay I think amethyst actually looks pretty nice it's just light that's it I'm gonna do the other one I'm gonna pause while I do it we don't need that okay so that came out good I actually really like to experiment with using like non-natural colors for eyebrows so I'm glad that I tried this because I'll be doing it again for sure. Hey. Hey. Hims only loves Hims mama. Okay, so next I'm going to show you how to just tone it down right here by using some sandstone pearl. And I should have done this before I used the um, eye illuminator, but that's okay. It's all for the same cause. And we'll just. Dab, dab. Guess what, Reggie? We're almost done. Do you know what the last step is? Since I'm not going to be able to do anything extravagant with my eyes like I want, I guess the last step's going to be mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and put my mascara on and be back to show you the finished look. Oh yeah, just in time for your Valentine's party, huh? Oh, I thought I paused it, so I'm sitting here looking for my brush. I'm sorry. All right, Ebony Essence. 
I should have done this before mascara, but the baby was on me. All right. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and call this a finished look. I'm wear my little bangs here. I will have to do my hair if he will let me at some point. Hold on. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and call this a finished look. I don't know when I'll be able to do my hair because I'm gonna have to go tend to them, but. Um, okay, can you say bye and thanks for watching? No. Bye, thanks for watching.